After five o'clock game, Gertrude joining us in the studio. Welcome. Oh, thank Welcome you. Thank friend. you so much, Randy. Billing yourself as an animal intuitive, which intuitively makes me wonder how one becomes an intuitive of animals rather than just people. Such a wonderful question. Because people are animals. Right? Yes, such a wonderful question. So you're a psychologist? No, no, I'm I'm just just Dame Gertrude. You know, many, many years ago, when I was a little a little one, my father beat the living dickens out of me. Just beat me unmercifully. And I used to go in the backyard and snuggle with my little pup, Wiggins. And you know, I began to know that I knew what Wiggy was talking about. And then as I grew older, I became much more available to other animals, especially dogs. Of course, is why I wound up in this beautiful Park City, because Park City has so many animals. And so people come to me, they want to know, well, what is their dog thinking and doing? And I can tell them, sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right. But I love helping people. You get in touch with some sort of a, I don't know, a, a, a frame of mind of a dog? I mean, yes, I can do that. Yes, the, the waves. It's a way, yes, yes, exactly, Randy. Faster waves Ex exactly, exactly. You know, everyone can do it, but it just seems like some of us do it better. Well, of course. I mean, I don't want to be compared to you because you're intuitive, obviously. I'm sorry to hear about the abuse as a child. I mean, was yes. it head trauma that got you started on this? Well, path? I don't know. Did you see that movie, Bach? Well, Bach is kind of like, uh, I think we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. You know, that was at the uh, Park City Film Series this weekend. He goes the horse ride, you go the dog ride. Yes, lovely, lovely show. Uh -huh. Lovely, lovely venue. I love the, the library. Mm. Well, you know, Horse Whisperer just sounds so much higher on the scheme of, like, you know, yes. admiration than Dog Whisperer. I yes. Know why. I mean, I, I think that's true, but you know, as you get older, you realize it just doesn't matter. Things don't matter who's better, who's worse. No it, ranking. No ranking, no, Randy, no. I hate ranking. Ranking is rankous. It's rank. It's rank. Well, right. as if we can generate a phone call or two. Oh, certainly. From our listeners, and you're, are you looking for the, I mean, you're just looking for the phone up to the dog's ear or we No, I don't no no I, I can feel I can feel the animal. I can I can speak to through the animal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we just need what a name of the person and, and their name of their pet. That's right. A that's and a question. Who it is. Uh no, uh, they can just ask the question. Well, let's get let's give my my uh, my friends a little call out here. We need a phone call to get the dame started. And a KPC Here we go. 91.9 FM. Call Randy at 655-8255 or 655-TALK. Or you can email on air at kpcw.org. Please call now. You're listening to Randy Barton, KPCW Radio. All right, my friends. 655-8255. We know you're out there and we know that you wonder. So people wonder. It's like... Yes, Why? especially when the animal has passed on, uh -huh. they wonder what's happening. What's happened to the dog? Yes, and what you know is it, is it all right? And you know, they like to they like to hear it's that. It's comforting. It's comforting, absolutely. So dogs on the other side, you're intuitive about. Oh them, so. yes, I yes I help many 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 people with mm -hmm. that. All right, so if you have a current pet or a dog that has uh, removed itself uh, from this plane uh, in some way, either by living out a nice life or by putting itself in a really precarious, dumb position, as dogs often do, and doing itself in. Dame Gertrude is here. You know, speaking of putting yourself in positions, you know, my friend Lisa Needham, who, who is Park City Yoga, puts me in this dog uh, position. Oh, no, down dog. Dawn down, dog. down, Randy, Come down on. dog. And Elliot. wonderful, wonderful. Makes, it just makes me feel wonderful. We have our first call. Caller, you're on the air with uh, Animal Intuitive.
Detective Dane Gertrude. What's your name? Richard. 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 I couldn't resist. I had to bite. Hello, Richard. So, we can hear you. My my dearly departed dog. My dearly departed dog's name was Monty. 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 He was a carrier blue terrier. Blue terrier. Oh. Monty, oh, how did he die? Uh, he lived past his cell by day. He was old. Yes. Well, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, Richard, that Monty tells me he loved you very, very much. He loved you very much. And he wants to, to tell you that he's so grateful, absolutely grateful, for all the caring you gave him. And he says there might be something bothering you about what happened with you and Monty. Is that true? Hmm. Well, well, I don't know. I, I did get mad at him for pooping on the carpet more than once. Oh, well, I want to tell you, Monty tells me he absolutely forgives you because he knows poop on the carpet is no fun. And he, he, he forgives you. He wish you hadn't hit him or been mad at him. But he forgives you. But remember, Richard, Monty loved you very, very much. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. I'm going to sleep better tonight. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful. Forgiveness is wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, I... Animal intuitive dog whisperer. So those of you with the current pet, we'd love to hear from you on... Is the pet, I mean, in the world of an intuitive, is it is pet a proper name? Or is it a companion? Or is it another, I um, mean, is sharing the, sharing the caretaker? I don't know. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't matter. Dear friend. Dear friend. Mm -hmm. You know, some people treat their dogs like children. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people don't have children, they have dogs. Oh, the, uh, also, Randy, you know, sometimes when we get older and our children have left and we have a dog, well, they become our children and we love them, love them, love them. Yes, Randy, yes, you bark beautifully. Perhaps in a past life you were a dog. So I'll ask you a question about my dog, Scooter. Oh, yes, Randy. Scooter, at times in the evening when it's dark, will let out these forlorn little ruggles. Yes. He's in no pain. He's fat. He's well fed. He's loved. What's what's he moaning about? Well, let me see. Scooter tells me. Uh huh. So what's going on in the home, Randy? Well, not a lot when he's doing the moaning. People trying to sleep, you know. I mean, it's like you know, it's like the two little boys loving him. Uh -huh. Nice family environment. Uh huh. He's got the, he's got the world on a string and tuna in a can. I mean, he's, he's good. Well, I, he's telling, he's telling me that he's 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 telling me that that means he loves you. It's a it's a song of love. It's a song of love, Randy. Wow, buddy. Yeah, he's also telling me he wants those boys to walk him more. Yeah, there you go. That's their fault. That's I knew it. I yes, knew it yes, yes, Randy. That's what I'm here. Yes. Young, young children. You can't have your parents raise your your dogs. You got to take responsibility and get out and do the feeding and the watering and the walking and and it's not all just about you know scratching on the head, right? Yes, and he also he also loves it when you kiss your wife. He tells me that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'm kind of going to wonder about that because uh, any affection shown whatsoever between anybody, he wants to get right in the middle of it and interrupt it. That's why he loves it. it That's himself. exactly right. He just loves it. Hog is it all He's a himself. right. He's a, he's a love oh, Right. Oh, Randy, Randy, Randy. That's beautiful. Beautiful. The forlorn song of love. Six five five eight two five five. I want to hear from you. Do you have a quest? We we only have like three minutes for one more call. Come on, six five five eight two five five. Animal intuitive, Dame Gertrude, British I would assume, but uh, outlandishly British I would think. Yes, I was born somewhere near Hartford, Haverford, and Hampshire. Ha! Huh, really? 
By George, I've got it. H, H, H. Sound like bagels or something. Okay. And we need one more call, 655-8255, because, I mean, your accent and your presentation yes. is so proper and lovely. Oh, oh Randy, thank you so you much. And so are you. 655-8255, Animal Intuitive, Dame Gertrude, looking for one more call. Give you advice on your hound, on your puppy, on your pal, on your buddy, on your dog. Here we go. On the air with Dame Gertrude. Caller, who's this? Uh, this is Dave. Dave, thank you. Hello, David. Hello. What can I do for you, my darling? Uh, uh, I was just curious of what kind of, uh, what my, my, my dog is Annie and what is her favorite food? Wow. Hey, that's a poser. Well, can I, you narrow it down, Dave? I'm Annie, well, I'm getting something from Annie. Annie thinks you ask too many questions. What's that? What's that? Annie is telling me that you ask too many questions. <laughs> Annie's the dog? Yes, Annie's my yes, dog. Yes, and that's, I'm, I'm, he's telling me that. Why, why is he telling me that? Well, maybe because I, I tell her that I tell her that she's stupid, but I tell it in a nice way, so she doesn't think she thinks I'm being nice to her. Oh uh, well, I'm not hearing that from Annie. What I'm hearing is she's pretending. She's what? She's pretending. She's pretending. Okay. Yes, she loves you very, very much, and she would do anything. To have you love her back. Yeah, she's a good dog. She's a wonderful dog, and you just keep loving, loving, loving her because she loves you so much. I would All say, right. Annie, so I'm not an intuitive, but uh, but, uh, but try some top round. Cut top it up round. into small squares, and that's it. That is happiness. Yeah, I think and you let it like that. Let it sit out for a day or so so it stinks a little. And sure. Uh, she tells me that she likes turkey. Turkey, turkey. not bad. Yes, make her a turkey burger. A turkey burger. I'm yes, sure. uh, yeah, make her make her a turkey burger and put it in her regular food. She would love that. Okay. Nice talking to you, Dave. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you very much, Dan Gertrude. Animal intuitive. Yeah, you know, you can get, Randy, you can get so funny with this. I don't want to play Fun Friday. Remember, keep it local, keep it PC.